Welcome to English Story Podcast. Do you have trouble remembering English words? Many people do. They study for hours. They try hard, but they forget the words. This is very common. Traditional ways to learn words do not work well. For example, many people make a long list of words. They repeat the words many times, but this is boring and our brains do not like it. So, we forget the words. Imagine this. You study a long list of 200 words. You repeat the words again and again, but after one week, you forget most of them. This is very frustrating, right? Many people feel the same. They want to learn English. They study hard, but they still forget the words. Why does this happen? Our brains do not like boring things. When we just repeat words, our brains get bored, and when we are bored, we do not remember well. So, we need to find new ways, fun ways, ways that help our brains remember better. Think about this. Have you ever learned a song? Maybe a song in your own language? You listen to the song many times, you enjoy it, and soon you remember all the words. Why? Because it is fun. We can use the same idea to learn English words. We need to make it fun and interesting. This way, our brains will remember better. Today, I will share five tips to help you remember English words. These tips are easy, they are fun, and they work. The last tip is very special. It can change the way you learn words forever. Are you ready? Let's get started with the first tip. Tip number one is the method of loci. This is a fun and easy way to remember words. It helps you use places you know to remember new words. First, think about a place you know well. It can be your house, your school, or your favorite park. For this example, let's use a house. Now, we will put new words in different rooms of the house. Let's start with the word book. Imagine a big, thick book on your kitchen table. See it clearly in your mind. Let's add another word, shoe. Imagine a shoe on the sofa in your living room. You can see the shoe clearly on the sofa. Now, let's walk through the house in our mind. First. Go to the kitchen. What do you see? Yes, a big, thick book on the table. Finally, go to the living room. What is on the sofa? Yes, a shoe. This method helps your brain remember words better because you use pictures and places you know. Here's why it works. Our brains love pictures and stories. When you imagine words in a place you know, you create a story. Stories are easy to remember. For example, if you think of a big book in your kitchen, you can see it clearly in your mind. You connect the word book with the kitchen. This connection makes it easier to remember the word. Also, using familiar places helps because your brain already knows them well. When you add new information, like new words, to these familiar places, 
your brain can store and find the information more easily. It's like putting new things in a room you visit every day. You won't forget them because you see them often. Another reason this method works is because it makes learning fun. When learning is fun, you stay interested and engaged. This helps you remember better. Traditional methods, like repeating words, are boring and make it hard to remember. But the method of loci uses imagination and fun, making learning enjoyable. Try this method with more words in different places. You will see it works. Tip number two. Mnemonics. This is a fun and creative way to remember words. Mnemonics are tricks to help your brain remember things. They can be acronyms, rhymes, or funny phrases. Let me explain how it works. First, you take a word you want to remember. Then, you create a funny or easy phrase with that word. For example, let's take the word big. You can think of a phrase like, the big elephant is very big. The word big is in the phrase twice, and the picture of a big elephant helps you remember the word. Another way to use mnemonics is to make a rhyme. Rhymes are easy to remember because they sound fun. For example, if you want to remember the word train, you can make a rhyme like, the train in the rain stays on the plane. The words train and plane rhyme, and it is easy to remember. Mnemonics work because they make learning fun and interesting. When you create a funny phrase, a rhyme, or an acronym, your brain pays more attention. It is like telling a joke or singing a song. It is enjoyable, and you remember it better. Also, mnemonics help you make connections. When you connect a new word to something you already know, it is easier to remember. For example, if you think of a big elephant, when you hear the word big, you have a strong picture in your mind. This picture helps you remember the word. Try making your own mnemonics for new words. Be creative and have fun. You will see how much easier it is to remember words. Tip number three is visual associations. This is a powerful way to remember words by using pictures in your mind. Our brains love pictures, and they help us remember better. Let me explain how it works. When you learn a new word, create a picture in your mind that represents that word. For example, if the word is mountain, imagine a tall mountain. But don't just see any mountain. See a mountain with a flag on top or with a funny face. This funny or unusual picture helps you remember the word mountain. You can also draw pictures. Drawing helps you see the word and remember it. For example, if you are learning the word bike, you can draw a bike with big wheels. You don't have to be a great artist. Simple drawings work just fine. The act of drawing helps your brain remember the word better. Another way to use visual associations is to link the new word with a picture you already know. For example, if you know the word tree and you are learning the word forest, Imagine a big tree with many other trees around it. This way, you connect the new word forest with the familiar word tree. 
Visual associations work because our brains remember pictures better than words alone. When you see a picture in your mind, it makes a strong memory. This memory helps you recall the word later. Also, making the pictures funny or unusual makes them more memorable. Our brains like interesting things, so we remember them better. Try using visual associations for new words. Be creative and make the pictures fun. You will see how much easier it is to remember words. Tip number four is to use new words in context. This means using the words in sentences and conversations. When you use words in real situations, you remember them better. Let me explain how it works. When you learn a new word, try to use it in a sentence. For example, if the new word is challenge, you can make a sentence like, learning English is a fun challenge. This sentence helps you see how the word is used. You can also use new words in conversations. Talk to a friend or family member and try to use the new word. For example, you can say, I love a good challenge. Using the word in a real conversation helps you remember it because it feels more natural. Using words in context works because it helps you understand how words fit into sentences. It also makes learning more interesting. Instead of just repeating words, you are using them in meaningful ways. This helps your brain remember the words better. Also, using words in context helps you learn grammar and sentence structure. When you make sentences, you see how words work together. This improves your overall English skills. Try using new words in sentences and conversations. Tip number five is writing. Writing new words helps you remember them better. When you write, you use your hands and eyes. This helps your brain remember the words. Let me explain how it works. When you learn a new word, write it down. For example, if the word is struggle, write struggle several times. Writing the word helps you see it and remember it. Next. Try writing sentences with the new word. For example, you can write, I struggle to wake up early. Then write another sentence, she struggles with math. Writing sentences helps you see how the word is used in context. Every day, write a few new words and make sentences with them. Review your journal often to remember the words. Writing works because it uses multiple senses. You see the word, you write the word, and you think about the word. This makes a strong memory in your brain. Also, writing helps you practice spelling and grammar. Another reason writing is helpful is because it makes you slow down and think. When you write, you take your time to remember the word and how to use it. This helps you learn better than just reading or repeating the word quickly. Let's use another phrase like figure it out. Write it down several times. Figure it out. Then make sentences with it. For example, I will figure it out. Or she needs to figure it out. Writing these sentences helps you understand how to use the phrase. Try to write new words and sentences every day. The more you write, 
the better you will remember the words. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever felt like learning English is too hard? In my next video, I will share tips and tricks to make learning English easier and more enjoyable. Click here to watch my next video. Let's make English learning a fun and easy journey together.